this demo refers to true composite and factor reliabilities. So here I have my model and this model was calculated using the composite based algorithm PLS regression. If I go to the option explore additional coefficient in coefficients and indices and choose to display reliabilities extended set. I get the classic reliability coefficients available from more PLS up to version 5.0 and I have additional reliability coefficients the dextrous PLSC or consistent PLS reliability, the true composite reliability and the factor reliability. Since composite based algorithms approximate, approximate both the true composites and factors uh, through uh, the composites that they generate. The composite reliability and the true composite reliability and factor reliability will coincide. If I use a factor based algorithm, which I'm going to do now, I'm going to change my general settings so that the factor based PLS type CFM3 is used. It's one of the factor based algorithms available. This CFM3 implies consistent PLS coefficients to perform uh, iteratively its estimations. Now, if I run my analysis, then I get a different model which now has um, different coefficients calculated through a factor based algorithm. So if I go to my uh, additional coefficients and uh, I choose the reliabilities, now I have different values. Now, the, the now I, I use factor based algorithms and these factor based algorithms implemented by the software, they first calculate the true composites and then estimate the true factors. So the because uh, the the um, loadings that are generated at the end um, they are for uh, the, the true factors and the true factor estimates coincide with the um, the uh, w what would normally be calculated through the composite reliability coefficients. These numbers here, the composite reliabilities and the factor reliabilities, they tend to be similar. The reason they are not the same is because these reliabilities are calculated while the iteration, the iterative process is taking place. And the dextrous reliabilities in this particular factor based algorithm are used as a basis for the estimation. So this is why these numbers and these numbers are not exactly the same as these. These are calculated based on the final factor scores and the true composites, they, the, their reliabilities are calculated similarly to the composite reliabilities but based on the true composites. So they tend to be higher. So based on the fact that factor reliabilities are based on estimates of the true factors. One would argue that these are close to the, closer to the true reliabilities than any of the other measures, although one could uh, expect that these be similar to the, to the Dijkstra's uh, PLSC reliabilities as well as to the composite reliabilities. And quite often in factor-based algorithms, these tend to be similar to the Cronbach's alphas because quite often the uh, loadings are similar to one another. So there isn't a great deal of heterogeneity in the loadings. When there is a great deal of heterogeneity in the loadings, then you see more of a distance between the Cronbach's alpha and the other numbers. And this concludes this demo.